Hello and welcome to episode 49 and a half of Harmony Hollow. The reason that this is episode 49 and a half is because I wanted to make sure that episode 50 was something special, such as defeating the Ender Dragon with my vampire homie CPK. Unfortunately though, I can't do that today because it's bloody bin day. <laughs> Why did I agree to be a binman? I don't enjoy being a binman. I get nothing from it. I'm being sued because of it. I have to do, like, a bunch of tasks because of it. But yeah, it's the 15th, which is bin day, so I have to go around and collect everyone's bloody bins. <laughs> Because last time I was late collecting the bins, I got a lawsuit against me. Christ almighty, let's get on with it. I've also been posted a couple of tasks to complete from Phoenix and Scott so far. So let's see what Phoenix says first of all. Djack, normally I would have forgiven you for not picking up my bins, but your latest pranks on the server that included me have made me very salty, to be honest. The tasks I have for you are one vampirism book, 64 full- 64 full blood bottles? You can forget that. Yeah, the vampire book, sure thing. 64 blood bottles? No way, Jose. Right, what's our next task? This one's from Dang himself, who, by the way, I'm very mad about after seeing what he did in his latest episode, but I'll get to that shortly. Task 1. You aren't allowed to tamper with any current or future garlic diffusers placed in my property. Task 2. I'm always running out of leather. Get me 30 leather, please. Well, the task's too fair enough, but hang on a good Scott. If you don't know, in Scott's latest episode, sorry, let me use his proper name, in Dang's latest episode, he broke into the secret vampire headquarters. Hang on, we may as well start collecting the bins while I'm mourning on. Not only did he break into the secret vampire base, he also messed with it. I think he took a laptop and he put it at a shop at spawn. He did all kinds of things that I'm really not happy about. Look at that, I've been hit with another garlic diffuser. And what else did he do? Oh yeah, he called me simple. Wait, 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 insert clip, Jack. Now, I'm not sure if Jack will do these. I had to think of simple things because he's a simple man, so giving him something too complex would confuse him. Is there any need? <laughs> let's see if he's actually put any rubbish out. Right, let's take a look. He has, he actually has put some rubbish. It's his old Christmas decorations, some dirt, ooh, some lime quilted wool, and some pumpkin seeds. Thank you very much, Scott. Let me get rid of these, Scott, my friend. And now, obviously, we need to dispose of this trash, so I think there's no harm in chucking it in this pond, is there? There we go, Scott, you're welcome. So a while ago, things became pretty heated between the mighty Count Dracula, the unstoppable force, and Dang, the vampire hunter. And a bit of a war broke out, but we, we managed to get over things. We had a little peace treaty. I left him alone for a while. We even became friends, did a couple of collabs together. Where's Phoenix put the bins? Why are the bins not here, Phoenix? Phoenix has been busy, hasn't she? She's got houses and stuff. Here are the bins. Oh my goodness, what is going on here? I'm very confused by what... Oh, it's a wheelie bin. <laughs> it didn't look like a wheelie bin, but it was one. Right, any trash? Oh my... God, Jesus, I don't want all this. Alright, let me just get rid of all of this, Phoenix. No problem at all. There we are. I'm sorry to hear that you're a bit salty with me at the minute, by the way, Phoenix. I can't really understand why that is, but hopefully I can make it up to you somehow soon, Phoenix. Because, I mean, you, you know, you're a vampire like me. Me and you are friends. I'm honestly really upset that you feel this way. I don't really know what I've done to upset you. Anyway, what was I saying? Yeah, me and Dang, we became friends, but recently he's been, he's been just used little comments in his videos. Are just starting to rub us up the wrong way, you know what I mean? And then he breaks into the vampire lair. I haven't even attempted to find his new secret vampire hunter lair because he asked me not to, and I respect his wishes. But him breaking into my secret base and causing a ruckus in there, that is the snowball that broke the horse's back. I'm not happy about it, and I'll say this now, the war is 100% back on. Anyway, Phoenix, let me collect the rest of, uh, of, of the rubbish. There we are. Ooh, I'll take the saplings. I, I like saplings. Oh, look at all of the saplings that have grown since the last episode. This is beautiful. Let me get these saplings placed down as well. Oh, it's hot and spicy. Unfortunately, Becky Isabel is currently online, so I can't actually sleep the night away, which is a bit of a shame. Oh, she is streaming though, so we shall say hello. Drop off those blood bottles. Drop off this wood. So obviously at the minute, I'm, I'm pretty annoyed at Scott, and I'm definitely prepared to kick off. So if you've got any prank suggestions for our friend Dang, then post them in the comments down below. And I'm sure we can cause some trouble. Nicola, I'm <laughs> Nicola, I'm sorry about throwing snowballs at your horses. To be honest, I was mad at Scott and it was wrong of me to take it out on your horse. In fact... <laughs> In fact, Nicola, I will get you your blood balls. I'm not getting you 64 of them. You can forget that. <laughs> There's no need to take the biscuit, Nicola. I tell you what, though, I have no use for these anymore. So perhaps we could give her a few of these because I think she still requires them. Okay, I'm hoping that this is going to make Phoenix friends with us again. So we'll put all these fancy...
fancy blood bottles. We'll put a bunch of hearts as well. Oh, there, it's not quite the 64 blood bottles that she asked for, but it is vampire book, a bunch of blood bottles, some fancy pure blood as well, and a lot of human hearts. That should get Phoenix and myself on good terms again. And I mean, to be honest, we need we need Phoenix on our side because there's a storm brewing and we need all the help that we can get. Also, by the way, a lot of you told me that Marielle is sick at the minute, which is why she didn't put her bins out. That's absolutely fair enough. As soon as she's better, we'll go give her a present or something. So let me know. Right, let's check if Emily's actually left any more trash. No, she is not. Ow, ow, ow. Hot and spicy, hot and spicy. Where's the teleporter help? Hell, ah! <laughs> what about Brit? Has Brit left anything else? Here we are. She has as well. Let me grab that for you very quickly, Brit. Thank you very much. Oh, more saplings. We are going to create a right little forest outside of our mansion. It is incredible. <laughs> a little old CPK, bless him. He still doesn't have a portal at spawn. God, I wish these people would log out. Any rubbish? No rubbish. Excellent. We're not going to get sued today. Excellent. We are not going to get sued again. We've collected all outstanding trash. Let me just throw everything that we don't need in the river. I've completed Nicola's tasks. That is great. I have not yet completed Scott's tasks, though. I'm sure you guys will give me some ideas on how exactly we shall complete these tasks with our own special twist. So Scott reckons that me breaking his garlic diffusers means that I'm the one in the wrong rather than him and means that it's okay for him to go into our vampire base and, and like, mess it up and stuff. But it's a garlic diffuser. I can't pop by his house without getting slapped with a bunch of negative portion effects like weakness and slowness. That's not nice, Scott. That is not being a very neighborly neighbor. So I think it's within my rights to get rid of his garlic diffusers, particularly when there isn't anything in the mods that I can place down that harms him when he comes to my house. He probably grinds my gears, does Scott, I tell you that. I think you went and put my laptop in someone. Where did he put the laptop? There it is. That's my bloody laptop, Scott. There are private documents in there. I hadn't logged out of my PayPal, Scott. Any Tom Dick of Ari could have gone in that cafe and nicked all my wool shop money, by the way. Shall we check if we have got any more? Oh, yes, we do. <laughs> we need more white wool. Oh, hang on. We've got another eight in there. And another 14 from the orange. $30. Don't mind if I do. Oh, it stinks of Scott. Why is there a chicken in here? Get out of here, you! Go on, aye! That's what I thought. <laughs> Let's just make sure everything's all right in here. Is everything looking okay? Let's be a good sport and we'll leave our hearts and stuff in here. He took all of the pumps off the bar as well and the bottle. God! He is certainly off my Christmas card list, that is for sure. He put the toilet in the bloody hotel lobby. I'm always running out of leather. Get me 30 leather, please. Oh, Scott, my friend, I oh, know a way I could get you up. Plenty leather, I could get you all the leather I need. Don't you tempt me, Scott. <laughs> God, God, he pees me off, he proper does. So I want to do a little bit of a starter prank just to, just to end off this episode. Just to get the ball rolling, you know what I mean? So it's been a bit of a joke on the server for quite a few episodes now. The Honest Scott's portal sign, I change it from Scott to Dang, just because he really hates being called Dang. <laughs> and I believe Phoenix changed this to Dang, so I don't need to change that there. But if we actually head over to Scott's house, you know, it's very nice and stuff, But and, and he's got his little gate over here, but what I notice is that he hasn't got a sign anywhere saying whose house this is. So we're just gonna fix that, so we're just gonna put a little sign saying Dang's house. There we are. Isn't that excellent? No, it's, it's you might you miss that, you see. It's only a little sign, isn't it? I wonder if I could make another sign more noticeable somehow. Fade to black. Hi! That's that's better, isn't it? Now now you'll definitely know whose house this is when, when you when you come across it in the wilderness. That <laughs> that is much much better. Actually, maybe that's a bit too much. It's kind of a bit in your face, isn't it? Maybe I should make it like, I don't know, slightly invisible or something. Yeah, let's do that. We'll make it slightly invisible. Hmm, although making it slightly invisible also means that it's actually impossible for Scott to break. Oh well. Well, I've been faffing on with this for so long that it's actually become daytime and everyone's logged out so I can actually check out some fan art before we end off this episode. Oh, and isn't it glorious as well? That is some lovely art. Thank you very much for the person that created that. Anyway, this is looking pretty good. <laughs> What a mess. And yeah, our good pal Scott can't remove this without one of these fancy illumination wand things. I'm sure he'll manage to get hold of one at some point, but this should certainly slow him down and hopefully annoy him quite a bit and keep him busy so that we have time to plan some more for the oncoming storm. Excellent. How does that look? Oh, it looks beautiful. <laughs> I've also placed down lots of these squiggly little yellow things because I believe Scott uses shaders and these look absolutely disgusting when you've got shaders on. So that's perfect. Yeah, I like that. <laughs> That'll teach you for calling me simple, Scott. <laughs> oh, let me quickly leave a sign because he he'll definitely be wondering. Hey, Scott, buddy, I'll get that 30 leather 
for you ASAP exclamation point. <laughs> Thank you guys very, very much for watching episode 49 and a half of Harmony Hollow. If you did enjoy it, then make sure you click that like button down below. I actually got back from a mini holiday earlier, and that's the reason there hasn't been many regular Harmony Hollow episodes. But I'm back now, so this week I'll be cracking back on with regular episodes again. And hopefully next episode, CPK and I will be taking on the Ender Dragon, seeing if we can catch it in a cursed lasso. If you'd like to see any nice pictures of the holiday that I've been on, then check out my Instagram and my Twitter. The links are in the description. If you've got any suggestions for things that we should do in this series, ways that we can prank Scott, then please do post them in the comments down below, and I shall see you all next time. Bye! <laughs>